Hi, I'm Robin Bensley. Welcome to Chow Time. In the early 1930s, the world's most infamous prison opened. It was called The Rock, and it held the worst of the worst as far as criminals go. Some of the famous residents of The Rock included Al Capone, Machine Gun Kelly, and the Birdman of Alcatraz, who, by the way, spent 40 years of his life in solitary confinement. They lived in dingy, depressing, nine by five cells. And they did have one bright moment of every day, and that was mealtime. Because Alcatraz served the best food of any federal penitentiary in the United States. And here's why. The warden thought they would be less trouble if they were well fed. They dine on such things as roast pork with sage dressing, bacon jambalaya, meatloaf with pan gravy, fresh apple pie with ice cream, and every day they enjoyed freshly baked bread and rolls. One of their favorite dishes was breaded cod with Spanish sauce. And here's my take on it. Alcatraz, they ate Pacific cod, which is a lot like red snapper. I'm going to make Atlantic cod, which is a beautiful white fish. All I do is take a couple of lemons, slice them, and lay them across the fish like this. And here's why I don't just put lemon juice on it because lemon juice, if you just put lemon juice on fish, it evaporates in the oven. This way, when the fish roasts, the lemon juice from the slices will slowly seep down into the fish, and it keeps it much more moist. Now a little dusting of salt, not much, and pepper. And I'm going to roast this for about 20-25 minutes in, in my 400 degree oven. And while that's cooking, I'm going to make Spanish Romesco sauce, which is eight ingredients processed in the food processor. So we're going to start with a half a cup of toasted almonds that I just dry roasted in the oven for five minutes. Two tablespoons of tomato paste. About one and a half roasted red bell peppers. I just bought those at the store already roasted. Quarter of a cup of olive oil. Two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. A tablespoon of smoked paprika. And something they always do in Spain is I have an old piece of white bread. You just want to add that. It's almost like a thickener, but they always put a piece of bread in their Spanish Romesco sauce. So we just blend everything together. Romesco sauce comes from northeastern Spain and it's mostly used on fish and they say that it was invented by Spanish fishermen. And the other thing I'm going to do is make the breading for the fish because obviously they would deep fry it at Alcatraz, but I'm going to oven bread it. So I have a cup and a half of Japanese 
panko breadcrumbs. I love working with panko. It's, it's very light. It's very crunchy. It browns up really nicely. And I'm not going to do too much to it. I'm just going to add a half a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of dried basil. I just want to get some herbs into this dish. That's it for the breading. Now I'm going to pull the fish out. It's about 25 minutes. And here's what I do. I push the lemon in and that lemon juice goes all over the top. And then I just push it off to the side. Now come the breadcrumbs. Just coat, thick coating of, of these panko breadcrumbs with basil all over the fillets. Now you want to moisten the breadcrumbs with the wonderful lemon and olive oil juices on the bottom. So you just take a spoon and you just drizzle it over. Okay, now I'm going to pop this under the broiler just to crisp up those panko breadcrumbs. Oh yeah, nice crispy top to it. Let that cool down just for a minute before I put it on a serving platter. And then we're going to top it with the romesco sauce. And if you have any leftovers with the romesco sauce, it's great on vegetables and potatoes and things like that as well. And it will keep in the refrigerator for about a week. Grab a little piece of fish here. Got a little white wine to go with it in an Alcatraz replica tin cup from the prison. Oh, by the way, they, of course, weren't allowed to drink at Alcatraz, but whenever they could, the prisoners would try and ferment things, like they would use raisins and potato peels, and if they were caught, they were immediately kicked out of the kitchen. And the convicts actually did all the cooking, but the rest of the staff ate their food. It was that good. And some convicts were known to gain up to 40 pounds when they were in prison. So here we go. That's delicious. The panko breadcrumbs give it a wonderful crunch. I'm wild about the romesco sauce with the almonds. It's uh, really delicious prison food. And another thing they had to do was, at the end of every meal, they had to account for every utensil that they used. They had to check in with that before they could leave the dining hall. And so, as far as I know, I've got one fork. 